This week on Sportsman TV, a little fin twisting. Come on, go with us. Oh, he come off. Oh, dang, that big one got off and that little one got it when, it was <laughs> when I was reeling it in. <laughs> this morning, we were somewhere in the Mississippi River Delta with the fin twister. Yeah, we're focusing on the flats. Well, it's holding bait in here. Not necessarily they'll be against the canes like they always are. They'll be all out in this flat just feeding around. Storm minnows, small mullet, shad, shrimp, everything eats shrimp. What is a storm minnow? Storm minnow is a little green looking. Do you know the technical term for it? No. Gulf killifish. Gulf killifish? Isn't that what it is? No, gulf killfish. Gulf killfish. Gulf killfish. Keeper. I think it's a keeper. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Pretty red fish. A light hitting it. Yeah. Your fish. Well, it looks like we found one. Just fishing on this flat right here, popping with dead shrimp. Ooh, that's a filet mignon of the redfish. That's him. Now, Captain, can you put us on all of them exactly that same size? No bigger. Maybe they can be a half inch shorter, but Greg, in that range. Greg, if that's what you want, then that's what we'll give you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's old fin twister right there is what that is. <laughs> Look at that. Nice redfish. There he goes. Back to the drink. He's just tiny. Maybe not. He's coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. There he is. The elusive speckle trout. They endangered today. They in danger. Not endangered. In danger. There's a difference. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a nice trout. One you just caught was nice. Pretty nice one there. Oh, that's a good one. A nice one. Ooh, woo! Nice one. Ooh, woo! Mm, 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 mm. That's the kind you like. Pliers? Pliers. He got it just a little Parmesan crusted trout. Oh, yeah. I might go to uh, some plastic commitment. Well, redfish seem to be a little standoffish this morning, so we uh, we decided to give these speckled trout a try. Well, for the past three weeks down here, we've been windy, and the fish has been pretty good with the wind. And now we have a calm day. It seems like they want to have a little bit of lockjaw. But we're about to change that. Uh oh, don't, oh, yep, yeah, that's one. There he is. Oh, uh, just, just slow grinding. I'm liking live shrimp right now. <laughs> and not real aggressive on the cork. You know, doing, letting it set a lot. 
And you know, it's hard to tell. Some of those needlefish are getting our shrimp, but then like he, he bit just like this. They just easing the cork down. You know, they're not real aggressive right now, but nice. When we got hit, it was aggressive. Crushed ice chills them down a little faster. Get some right for Parmesan. Cheese. Right. There he is. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That's what it's about right here. I can't catch it. It's got Parmesan written all over it. Oh, you got another one. Look at the shrimp jumping. Oh yeah. Something's fixing to happen right here. Catch and release. Catch and release. That one wouldn't, you see the kind we keeping. We keeping them old bigs. Good fish How too. about that plastic? How's that plastic working that out plastic there for you? Great. Old plastic hand. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stay with the plastic all day. I ain't throwing nothing else. I noticed you put it on a cork. Yeah. Oh, and look, look what it produced. Oh, oh, oh look. Oh look, it got the plastic off the hook. He just got the hook. Oh, right. damn. I think that ought to be the title of the show. Everything eats shrimp. I wanted to catch one of these things my entire life. And you did it with and me. And I did it with you. Fin twisters. Trout. Oh yeah, that's a trout. A nice one. Nice one. Uh-uh-uh. The thing that I think that's working against us is the tide stopped moving, it's calm, but it seems like we're still doing it. It's not necessarily slick weather that's affecting it. You know, we're fishing the day after the front, really, really high pressure. You know, typically when you know, have a cloud in the sky like that and the wind dies and the front's passed, and you know, more times than not, before the front and during the front are the best, you know, may not be the best conditions for the fishermen, but typically the fish are always more aggressive before front. And then, then afterwards, and then it gradually picks up. You know, that typically is the deal is the first day after it's not so good, second day gets a little better, third day, you know, and then we got another weather change coming. But I mean, honestly, these really, really pretty weather like this makes great conditions for getting out and about, typically aren't the best fishing days. You, you know, the good thing about the, the deal is when you got live shrimp, it seemed like it does. Live bait fishing is not affected as bad by a front as fishing with artificials. You know, it does really seem to be harder, you know, fishing with artificials than it is. Um, live shrimp is, um, they can't, you know, it's that deal, it's like a piece of popcorn. You're not hungry, but if I set a bowl of popcorn down by you, you'll reach over and get a piece, even though you've just got up from the table. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just the deal, but. Patience. But the oh, other oyster. thing is like fishing on the coast is not so much like, say, fishing on a reservoir somewhere where the water doesn't move. That tide's gonna move today. And when it does, it's still gonna, you know, influence the fish to feed a little bit. So we got things working for us. We got things working against us. It's just, it's a part of it. It is super nice out of it. It's a great day to be out with the fin twisters. Having patience I'm gonna get, we're, we're gonna get him to show us this afternoon how he got the name, the Fin Twister. <laughs> Tune in Tokyo. <laughs> Live shrimp under a popping cart with your good octopus snailed hook. That seems like to be doing it. Uh, old pin, oh, old, oh, old pin fish. Get him, get him, get him, Hack. Get old pin. Oh, he. Oh! <laughs> oh, he. Come off. Yeah, he didn't. It's still on the hook. Oh, it is? up my little pinfish.
Watch that car, cuz. I'm fixing to get it out the way. Oh, seen that? That was him? That's him all the way out there? No, that's another one. Oh, that's another one. Oh, Heck, throw that double rig. Okay. Watch that net of a twist. Woo! Oh, look, it's a redfish. The elusive redfish. <laughs> Been trying a bunch of things today, as far as different places, different locations, different techniques. And we came halfway around Louisiana. We found the elusive redfish. The tide has a big factor in it, and it has started moving earlier. Water was dead, no tide movement, no bait movement, nothing. Now, tide's starting to move, bait's starting to move, fish starting to eat, They're getting hungry. I was looking at them. <laughs> Took That ain't a redfish. It's no wet thing. Oh, it yeah, it's that just is. a great big one. I, he was moving so fast, I was like, maybe it's a little yellow fin tuna that you'll see swimming up here sometimes. Oh, you did. Why did he come to the boat so fast? Get from under. Get up in that net. Nice. Ta da! Get another one. Oh, uh-uh, don't think you done jacked the hole up with a keeper, Lee. Come on now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know that it really matters. You think what? I have to have the green one? Uh. He's ready or you are? I'm ready. I'm thinking you're ready, Lee. He's ready. <laughs> well, that oh. <laughs> a nice little Jack Cravel and some fine eating. Fine eating. Fine eating. Like beef steak. Yeah, but right now would be time to cut him. <laughs> yeah. You know, you need to bleed him. Bleed him right now. <laughs> oh. Hold it at him. I saw him before he I got it, right before he got <laughs> that big red glow. Yeah, right before he got it. <laughs> Stay away. Oh, he, he's fixing to come back to life here in just a second. Maybe not. Oh, he's got lots of spots. He's like a little mini leopard red. How big. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's amazing how many big redfish are here. I mean, just in this. How many of them did we ride by this morning? Something <laughs> that we didn't want to catch. <laughs> <laughs> we we just decided not even to fish. We was in training this morning. Got him. Got him. Wow. We got some weight on got him. Got some weight on that one in it. <laughs> you may set on him and we can do the clothes. This week on Sportsman TV, we riding the bull. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I want a picture of that. Shh. You don't want to upset him. You hear him drumming? Uh-oh. Uh, 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 uh -oh. uh. Lee has struck gold by that. <laughs> the 
they were taking pic two of them over were holding them up getting pictures another one was fighting one <laughs> the third one was on in a fight Here, Hannah, here, I'll get you. Get in there. <laughs> we got a little redfish rodeo going on right now. It's, a, it's literally every cast. I'm on two casts, anyway. I made two casts. Two fish. Two fish. And they're nice size redfish. The kind I like to catch. Mm. Well, they're strong. He's probably thinking, is that like what I think it is? Oh! Paya! Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, what <laughs> happened here? my finger in there. He got just enough fat. Look. Like you don't think about a redfish having some teeth, but he got some. Come on, get on there, get another one on there, get another one on there. Come on, come on. Come on, need another one. Uh -uh, this way. Just twisted that fin on around. Watch that net, it'll twist around too. Walter, what's the biggest one you've ever caught? Man, to be honest, it's true with you. I've done caught some big ones, and I really don't know. This a little rat red right here. On fire. It's on fire now. <laughs> I was like, down. it went down in there. This is what it's about. How many does this make? I don't know, not me. Damn near every cast. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Got one right here. Old Greg's up here hooked up to another. What you think about it, Greg? I think it's all good. <laughs> I'm glad you could ride us around for 70 miles the day before you decided to bring us to the goods, you know. <laughs> kind of make us worry about it a little bit like it wasn't going to go down and then just, and then just light down right in the middle of them. Fish swimming around on the top when we shut down. <laughs> You know, that's probably the fish right there, honestly, that Venice is known best for. Is it not? Think about it. Red I mean, you know, you can catch yellowfin tuna here and everything else, but this is the... This makes Venice, Louisiana. It does. There's no other place where redfish exist like they do here. You know, they have them all over the coast, but not the, the sheer numbers and the average size. And we know we've caught tons of rat red, so we know that there's plenty here to uh, keep on the uh, Come see me. tradition. Let's we'll talk to Greg for a minute. What a way to get twisted. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.